Hey guys, Buffing Game back today, bringing you another video for our Blueprint Weapon Series, and today we're covering the Chuck Walla Blueprint for the PP19 Bison 2 in game. Here, I'm going to show you how to unlock this blueprint in the Battle Pass system for Season 3, as well as what this looks like with different weapons, the attachments equipped, how to build it, and how it differs from the base PP19 in game. Then we'll get into some gameplay as well as a recoil control for the weapon. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here we have the final design for the Chuck Walla, which is a very strange name, but that is the name of the blueprint here for the PP19 Bison 2 as it is in game. So we'll go ahead and back out here and you can see it is unlocked at tier 59 of the Battle Pass stream here for season 3. So here, 59, and you can see here the attachment. So let's go ahead and back out and now we'll go to our custom game where we have this pre-built compared to the base PP19 Bison and we'll compare the two. So. First off with the blueprint, what we'll do is strip it down with the blueprint selected so you can see some of the major changes here on the blueprint itself, which we'll get into in a little bit. But first off, to build this from scratch, first off for the muzzle, we're going to want that monolithic suppressor. So you can see here how the blueprint version of the monolithic suppressor, or that PBS4 suppressor, differs from the base one. So you can see there the base versus the slight color change and a bit of a camouflage change on the blueprint suppressor for the pbs4 there now the barrel we're going to want the 8.7 inch steel barrel so this is the heaviest barrel you can get for this weapon this is going to assist with the damage at range bullet velocity as well as the recoil control on the weapon the cons here being the ads speed and the movement speed so again the base versus the chuck walla we're going to get that same type of camouflage change to the weapon now here we're going to select for the laser we're going to go ahead and select the tack laser we're going to go ahead and you can see here just a different combinations again not any real major changes versus the base and the blueprint tech laser this is going to assist with the ads speed aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness the con is that the laser again is going to be visible to enemies if you're aiming down sights so just be careful as to where you're aiming down sights with this laser now the optic the blueprint again comes with the monocle reflex which is just that russian red dot sight for precision sight picture again it's going to slow down our ads speed a little bit because we're adding extra weight to the weapon but the tack laser is going to mitigate that and almost negate it i would say so we'll go ahead and again that same camouflage change with the monocle reflex stock we're going to leave blank as well as perk and rear grip and then the ammunition we're going to go with that 84 round helical mag so again this is just adding it from the base i believe is 64 rounds of 9 by 19 makarov and then this magazine bumps it up to 84 rounds so we're adding 20 rounds of the magazine for the increased magazine capacity the cons being the ads speed and the movement speed for the weapon so again you can see base versus the blueprint we have the xrk logo uh, logo here on the magazine as well as all over the weapon itself so go ahead and select that and that is the final design for the chuck walla blueprint itself here now just some Quick little cosmetic changes, how this would look with some other attachments. You can see just how the other options look on the weapon. I personally really like the look of this. Uh, this buttstock here for cosmetic reasons, I think that looks pretty nice as well. The base skeleton stock looks pretty good too. And then I also honestly kind of prefer the holographic side on this weapon just because I don't really like the optic of the monocle reflex on this. I find it a little bit hard with the recoil pattern of the weapon to control, but I really like the westernized look here of the holographic sight on the weapon but again you can see the different sight options there is no specific sight that is unique to this weapon so we just have all the standard sight options here for the weapon and then your different grip tapes here are just going to be the same standard grip tapes. so really nothing too special as far as attachments go now let's go ahead and back out and just look at how this compares to the base pp19 so what i'll go go here is i built this up from scratch with just a base pp19 bison 2 and we put all the same attachments on here. As you can see outright, there's a lot of heavy cosmetic changes to this weapon here. And we'll get into those here. But you can just see the differences here again. So now let me just compare the two side by side. So we'll start with the base Bison. And I'll what I'll do is I'll toggle up to the blueprint for the Chuck Walla blueprint. And what this is going to do is you can see here the heavy cosmetic changes. We have changes to the pistol grip as well as a lot of changes to the dust cover we have picatinny rails added to the weapon as well as the camouflage changes so let's go ahead now and jump into this so just some detail i actually i'm not a big fan of the bison but there are a lot of very good detail there's a lot of good detail on this particular movement that i want to see added to the ak-47 in the future so first off you'll notice we have the ak-12 pistol grip the same one we see on the ak for the steel curtain blueprint so we have the ak-12 pistol grip there added we also have different select fire switches here on the left 
and the right hand side completely ambidextrous we have the addition of an rk or excuse me a zenit rp1 charge and handle here versus the base charge and handle we have the picatinny rail replaced on the duck dust cover so we have the dust cover with the picatinny rail and that's going all the way up to the end of the handguard there on the top of the weapon so we have the addition of picatinnies there as well as the left and the right side where we have that laser mounted there on the right hand side of the weapon so some ac very awesome i would say I'm, it's actually very exciting cosmetic changes to this blueprint because this is something that could translate perfectly to the ak-47 platform in a blueprint in the future for an actual ak-12 ak-15 blueprint variant of the weapon so the one thing i really like here is that zena rp1 charge and handle it's a great addition as well as we have the picatinny rail dust cover on the weapon as well maybe something like a fab defense i'm not sure specifically what it's modeled after i haven't looked at it too much but again just exciting to see that that we have that picatinny rail on the top so again this is the cosmetic changes to the blueprint now really quick i'll just compare it again one more time to the base so now you can get an idea now that we showed that off so here you see there is no picatinny rail on the dust cover right we have the dovetail mounted optic there on the the dovetail mount there on the left hand side of the weapon which is mounted with the monocle reflex red dot sight there on the top we ha also have the select fire switch is here on the right hand side you have that old ak platform select fire switch we also have this standard charging handle so you notice the difference on the charging handle versus the zenit rp1 as well as we don't have picatinnies as i said on the dust cover the top of the handguard and we do not have picatinnies on the left or right side really to the extent that we do on the other one we have small picatinnies built in there with uh two notches but compared to the blueprint itself uh completely different so very very unique changes to this weapon uh with the blueprint itself so one more time here i'll just show you the blueprint and we'll look at the camouflages in case you're curious the iron states actually do change for this which i'll show off here in the recoil pattern when we get into it because we do have those picatinnies on the top and it's replaced with the replaces the iron sights and kind of updates them which i think are a little bit more open-ended from you'll see here in the video a um, little bit easier to keep shots on target if you are going with standard iron sights but you can see here how the camouflage ex affects the weapon it's going to cover everything basically except for the pbs4 suppressor there as well as the optic on the weapon and the picatinny there on the left and the right hand side of the weapon including the laser and we have our Zenit RP1 charging handle, which is also not covered by the camo. So I think that's really nice blueprint here. So I'll go ahead and back out and we'll jump into some of the gameplay here. I'll show off the recoil pattern. This weapon has a really unique uh, recoil pattern for an SMG. I, again, I don't use SMGs too much, but the recoil pattern on this, it, it wants to kick heavily to the right. You have a lot of horizontal recoil. It wants to kick heavily to the right, and then it wants to go vertical. And then after you've, you've fired about 30 rounds on this weapon it'll completely level out and you'll have no more recoil so you'll see in some of the test firing here how it'll go up and then there's points here where we're very dead accurate after about 30 rounds are fired and i'm not even trying to touch the or mitigate the recoil at all my fingers are completely off my right stick on the weapon or on the controller here to not even control it, and it's just completely a laser beam so again you really need to fire about 30 rounds to get to that point which makes it not very feasible. The initial recoil on the weapon, even though we do have that heavy steel barrel on the weapon to help with the recoil control, is pretty noticeable, specifically with the monocle reflex sight. So I actually, as I said, I do prefer something like a westernized sight on this weapon, whether it's a PBX-4 or a EOTech holographic sight on the weapon, just for a little bit better precision sight picture versus the red dot. Just because of the bounce on this weapon, I need something a little bit more... I need a reticle a little bit more clear in order to keep my shots on target. So you'll see when we jump into the gameplay here, sometimes I'm having a little bit of trouble getting shots on my targets initially until I'm getting used to this. And again, I really am not a fan of the Bison, so I've really never used it outside of uh, Gunfight, the 2v2 Gunfight mode. But I think this is an overall pretty good build. I, build, I would, As I said, I would make some slight modifications to the weapon for mainly the optic and maybe even something for the stock option to give me a little to give yourself a little bit more aiming stability on the weapon and i think you would have a pretty good pretty good uh build of the weapon in that case and that might be something you want to try out for warzone again it's already pretty pretty well built to use in warzone which i noticed with a lot of the blueprints so far in the stream are but i think that would be a pretty good build to use as it comes with a blueprint in warzone and then it, obviously if you make some slight modifications you have a pretty decent weapon to use and especially with that 84 round magazine which i believe is the largest 
magazine capacity of any of the SMGs minus, uh, actually, no, I believe it is the largest, so correct if I'm wrong there. But I think overall, pretty good blueprint. As I said, I'm not a fan of the Bison at all. I would really like to see the newer version of the PP-19, known as the PP-19-01 Vitez. So the Vitez SN is a upgraded version of the PP-19 Bison. The Bison itself was first introduced in 1996 through present, and then it had the Bison, the variants of that were the Bison 2, Bison 3, and now we have the Vitez SN, which I'm actually pretty shocked they haven't made a blueprint for that in the game yet, or even some sort of ammo, ammo change conversion in the gunsmith. I think that is a uh, missed option for this weapon. The Vitez is an actual magazine loader. It doesn't have this this strange magazine that we see in the Bison. And it's, again, an updated, modified version of the Bison. It is the Vitez SN. And this is basically the third generation of the PP-19. So that's a much more modernized-looking version of the PP-19, the Vitez, and I really wish that was in game or if there was a different ammo change for the conversion on this weapon instead of just giving us the only option being that 84 round magazine. I wish there was a different ammo conversion on this to give us an actual stick mag and turn it into the Vitez and then give us a change to the barrel to give us something around along the lines of a Zenit rail system on the weapon, which I think would be really nice as well. We already have a lot of rails built in, so it works out pretty well. As I said, this is the, I think in my mind, one of the coolest blueprints in game just because of the possibilities that it opens up for the AK-47. So if you've been following the channel, I'm one of the, my biggest advocate, and I'm the biggest advocate for the AK-12. So as we talked about, the Steel Curtain is really, in real life, an AKM platform for the most part. And they call it the AK-12 in single player. So we've built, based on the Steel Curtain blueprint, in single player, the Steel Curtain blueprint is categorized and named as the AK-12. So we've built those here on the channel for the conversion series for the AK-12 and the 15 based on the ammo, whether it's 5.45 or 7.62. But I've been really pushing for a actual modernized AK-12 platform in the game so we can build an actual AK-12, AK-15. So whether that's a new weapon or a blueprint, but I think here with the PP-19, with the Bison blueprint here for the Chuck Wallet, it opens up possibilities. Not only does it kind of bridge the gap between the Vitez, just minus the magazine on the weapon which is still in line with the bison but again we have those changes to the rail system which is built into the dust cover we have it looks like a zenith uh rail system on the weapon or maybe even a fab defense rail system which is built into this weapon we have the rails on the left and right we have the zenith rp1 charging handle on the weapon and we have the different select fire switches which are ambidextrous on this blooper for the chuck wall so i think that opens up a lot of possibilities as i said for the ak to give us a more modernized ak-15 ak-12 platform just with the addition of a blueprint although i think deep down i would really like to see it as a new weapon because the ak-12 really is a completely different weapon as far as the internal workings for the most part as well as the fact that the recall on the ak still is just a little bit too much even with a 762 where we have the more modernized AK-12 and the AK-15 platform based on the AK-400 series, which is much more easier to control and is actually built to control that recoil better than the old rustic uh, AKs that we have in the game here. So, again, another, I think, issue that I have is that we have old AKs in the game instead of more modernized AKs with the AK-12, AK-15, as well as we have the Bison, which has been a staple in the Call of Duty series for a long time from Infinity Ward, but again... I would have really preferred to see the Vitez instead of the Bison, just because the Vitez aesthetically is much more pleasing to look at, and I think you can have more possibilities with that. But again, with the Bison, they just added the ammo conversion for a stick mag on there and gave us a different, some different options for the cosmetics. I think that would look really nice, and we could convert it to the Vitez. So I'm surprised they really haven't done that yet. But let me know down below what you guys think of the changes to this weapon. Do you want to see something similar done to the AK? 47 to give us that AK-12, AK-15 platform. Also, let me know what kind of weapons you want to see coming in Season 4, 5, and beyond, as well as blueprints. So, we'll be covering the leaked weapons here in a couple days. Uh, I'm really waiting before we get more official word. I think the Season 3 still has about 18 days left in it before we get an actual roadmap at the end of that. But the one that I'm really looking forward to is going to be the HK G28, which is uh, should allow us to make the HK-417, possibly the 416, and even an M27 IAR. So I think I, I think of all the weapons 
that have been add-ons since the game launched that is the one i'm looking forward to the most just because i think it offers the most possibilities in the game and again it's about time we had an actual uh westernized marksman rifle in the game based on that hk 417 or the g28 platform so besides the m14 which again i'm not a fan of that so the g28 probably going to be my go-to weapon in multiplayer as well as warzone going forward for the marksman or sniper rifle category really looking forward to that but again let me know down below what you think of the chuck wallow blueprint for the pp19 bison are you a fan of this do you would you prefer something like the vitiez do you would you like them to add the ammo conversion in order to give us an actual stick made to turn this into the vitiez and again would you like to see these changes on the ak to make the ak-12 ak-15 blueprint and turn that into an actual updated version of the ak platform so let me know down below also social media links are down below in the description as well as the discord and if you're liking the content be sure to like and subscribe as we're getting towards the end of season three here we'll be getting into season four and be covering all that as well as all the new weapons getting the breakdowns and weapon conversions for those as soon as they come out so go ahead and leave your comments down below leave me your feedback until next time buffer gaming out